Hi, I'm Scott Roberts, and I'll be there at the Northeast Astronomy Forum to show you 100 degree, 82 degree, and 68 degree waterproof eyepieces from Explore Scientific. Why do we make waterproof eyepieces? Because eyepieces can get dirty on the inside, they can get fogged up on the inside, and we want your eyepieces to be as pristine on the inside as they were when they were made. The 100 degree eyepieces entered in on the scene with our original 14 millimeter. They were later joined with our 20 and our 9 millimeter. In fact, the 20 millimeter was the uh, first in its category. And so um, we're real excited about the performance of these eyepieces. We've gotten great critical acclaim on the performance from the center to the edge focus on these. This was followed up by revamping our 82 degree series eyepieces. Customers told us that they were too large, they didn't like the twist up tops, so what we did is we trimmed them down, we made them lighter, and we made them nitrogen pert. The 100 degree eyepieces come in focal lengths of 20, 14, and 9. 82 degree eyepieces come in 30, 24, 18, 14, 11, 6.7, and 4.7. And then we have their brand new 68 degree uh, waterproof eyepieces, which are 40, 34, 28, 24 millimeters, 20, and 16 millimeters. So you got a What's the difference between two different eyepieces, the same focal length, but two different apparent fields of view? Here we have an 82 degree series and a 100 degree series 14 millimeter eyepiece. If we use these two eyepieces on an Explore Scientific ED127 APO, both of these eyepieces would yield about 68 magnification. But when we move to the larger apparent field eyepiece, we're going to see more true field in the sky. How does that work? Well, the way you calculate the true field of view is you take the apparent field, let's say the 82 degree apparent field eyepiece, and you divide it by magnification. In this eyepiece, you would get 1.2 degrees true field of view. But in this eyepiece, you would get 1.5 degrees true field of view. And more field of view shows you more of the object immerses you more into the field and gives you more. Why do we want to make waterproof nitrogen purge eyepieces? Well, there are a lot of optics that are made for the outdoors that are nitrogen purge and waterproof. Think about the binoculars and spotting scopes that are done this way. It's done this way for a reason. You don't want to get fog building up on the inside. In fact, you don't want any humidity built up on the inside because that would allow mold and fungus to start to grow inside of there. If you are taking your eyepieces out and you're doing a, an observing event, uh, particularly if you're out in an environment where it's dusty or whatever, you can run these eyepieces under cool running water. Uh, spray them down with distilled water to get off water spots. Dry them down, blow them off. They'll be as clean from the center to the edge as when you bought the eyepiece. So nitrogen purging and waterproofing is a real good idea.